G'day everyone. Well, you might remember from my previous videos that I designed a sump that had its own phytoplankton culturing chamber. And uh, a little while back, uh, we had a power failure uh, due to a tornado warning. Um, and um, it, it caused the water from the main tank to back siphon into the sump as it usually does and it overflowed the um, sump water into the phytoplankton chamber uh, and then it's mixed all the phytoplankton into the main display tank and I think it's official to say that this little experiment is a failure I mean maybe if I designed it where the chamber was a lot higher and had no chance of the water getting into the chamber you know it would have been successful but because I've made it too low and that's just because of the glass that I had available at the time. Um, it allows water to get into the phytoplankton chamber when the power goes out and as a consequence all the phytoplankton got mixed with the uh, main display tank water and as a result my 125 gallon tank is slowly turning into a phytoplankton culture. It's turning green and also had my um, frag quarantine tank. I had used some of the main display water um, for the quarantine tank. And as you can see it's all turned into phytoplankton. I've already drained out most of the water. I'm going to clean it up and um, it's got a nice big salt bucket here of phytoplankton. So this is basically now I'm going to have to, I've got all the frags in here, <laughs> in phytoplankton. So it's pretty much just going to have to clean out this uh, quarantine tank for the frags and uh, put some fresh salt water in there and hopefully uh, salvage some of our corals so uh, yeah you know sometimes things go wrong and you know, this is just one of those times where you know you try something different sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and uh, yeah just a slight flaw design this didn't quite work out how I'd hoped so uh, doing away with the phytoplankton chamber and uh, I'll, I'll probably still do a phytoplankton culture but in a, in a separate jar. Um, so I was planning on culturing some copepods anyway in some jars so I'll just keep one of those jars specifically for culturing phytoplankton. So yeah, it's just one of those days where something can go wrong and it's one of those days where something did go wrong. So. Uh, yep. Time to clean all this mess up and uh, continue on. So I think my best bet for the 125 to rectify it slowly turning into a huge phytoplankton culture. I'll just, I mean I've got no corals in here except for a little mini carpet anemone. There's a little Kenya tree in there as well. That's the only coral we've got in here at the moment, apart from you know, uh, snails and uh, crusty little clownfish. So I think the best way I'll combat the 125 and try and get rid of the phytoplankton out of here is just uh, turn the lights off for a few days and, and uh, should hopefully make the phytoplankton go away but uh, as for the 10 gallon um, frag quarantine tank you know I just completely clean all that out and put some fresh water fresh salt water in there and start that one again so you know if you have any advice or comments leave in the comments below and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll get back to you in the next video Good boy Nemo, yes I know you're hungry, what's, what's his name?